Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me. Game over. Man, check it, man. Listen, man. Boss Talk 101, just tapping back in. You know, the other night when this uh, Julio, Julio, Julio got hit, you know, and I seen uh, a song or something come out, and I wasn't too sure if it was about uh, what I was thinking it was about, you know. Um, you know, they was like, oh, that might not even be a diss song. You know, a lot of people got in the comments. Um, man, it's sad what's going on in Florida with this whole situation, you know. I'm just paying more attention to these kids more lately, man. And, you know, these kids barely, barely making 25, 26, man, you know. Um, barely making 19, 20. You know, like my boy Pop Johnson say, man, I'm here I am over 50, man, so I won. You know, if you can't make it to see these days, man, in your latter time, man, because of music, it's sad. You know, this is a clear shot taken at the fact of Julio did, you know. I think he says in here it's like uh, one in the car, you know, one got hit, one did, three got hit. Really explaining what happened when you look at a literal sense of what, and he's pointing toward the facts of it, you know. Of course, we don't know if he done it or he's alluding to it, but just the way that this whole thing being explained is crazy to me. Um, one of them did and three got hit. Then he talks about the time, and it's crazy to me, and, and the numbers are going ballistic. YouTube again, number three, number four, it's like, it's a celebration of one's death, man. And, you know, I know that everybody got loved ones in this. And I'm pretty sure somebody tried to talk to this young man. Um, it just didn't happen this way back in the day when we was doing our thing. Most of the time when you did something, you wasn't trying to let everybody know about it. You weren't really incriminating yourself, or even taking chances with something to even play with it online. Like you even remotely had something to do with it. So you always trying to stay faded back in the cut. If something happened, you somebody get it, you would never hear people talk about it, you know. The way they're publicizing it now on, on, on these waves is just different for me. So me, I'm like, man, let me just say something, because seeing the youngsters, man, you know, I don't know if the, the male figures in their life or what is the money, I mean, or who is the OGs that's stepping up. I always say it's some rappers down there. We want to jump up and holler about we the OGs, and it's people down in Florida that, that Maybe they've tried to talk to these guys. I don't know, but there are some people that's big time and talk about their money on records. They from Florida. They talk about they the, the unks and all kind of stuff, and they started hip hop and all that. That's crazy to me that ain't nobody, you don't see nobody online, nowhere speaking out to these guys in a city, man, that birthed this whole hip hop game. It's crazy to me. Nobody won't say nothing. All of the leaders, the people who so-called OGs, quit saying this OG thing. If your little homie out here shooting one another or if they telling you they look up to you and you're not saying nothing to them, it's really ridiculous to me. You, you got to stop even acting. I like what my boy uh, Bruce to say. Stop giving the homies bad game. If you're not really rocking with these youngsters enough to talk to them when they're going through these situations, when you know it, you know the situation down there. If you're a part of that whole hip hop culture down there, are you saying anything? What are we saying? Are we saying that we can we want to see it stop the senseless violence? Or anybody? I mean, it's a bunch of OG big dog uh, jump on the videos with the cars, just like he jumping out of this one saying "game over." that I know for a fact somebody down there know this young man. Man, it's crazy to me. Ace, somebody could have said something to Ace. Or somebody, or maybe, oh, we can't talk to him. Well, you can, if you're willing to. But are you scared you're gonna mess your bag up? Or are you okay with this situation? All you got, all you OG rappers, this is some OG rapper down there. I'm not gonna call y'all name. Y'all know who y'all are, man. Uh, how much did you? How much time are you putting into these young dudes that's coming up on the scene doing what you started down there? 
doing what you started down there. You, you, they, they trying to imitate it, but at the end of the day, it's no guidance in it, bro. It's no guidance in it, man. We got to do better, man, when it comes to these young kids, bro. Because if you my age and you looking at these young kids, my son's older than these kids now. My my, it, it, I got sons younger than them kids, but these these young men, man, like I said, I just I hate the senseless violence and I hate to see them passing away like this. I hate to see them killing each other. I hate to see them getting locked up. I just hate to see it. But if you're an OG or if you call yourself unk or you jumping up, running around, hanging out, smoking blunts with these young dudes, man, are you doing anything to say, hey, man, let's try to do something to bring the city together. Let's try to do something to bring the whole groups together. Where is that interview at? You know, where is that one at? Where are you talking to me? It ain't out here because it's not happening. But y'all swear about that. You, you real, it's real gangster to you. You real? No, no, I'm not trying to take no pictures with nobody. I'm not trying to hang out with nobody if y'all not talking to these youngsters. For real, bro. Like I said, man, I love all these kids, man. And at the end of the day, if I get a chance, if I speak to them, don't, don't hit my line because you're going to get good game. I'm not messing it up. I'm not messing up with the opportunity that I got to be a stand-up person to say, hey, man, enough is enough, man. You know, let, come over here, let's holler, man, because it's bad. It's sad, bro. And I know a lot of people, you know, they just mind their business. But, man, you know, I mean, what are we going to do? I know these guys look up to you. I know they do. So I'm not trying to hear it. I know they look up to you. And I know you done talked to some of them. Some of y'all, you ain't going to say it, but you done hollered at some of these young dudes. Whether it was in whatever city. Whether it could have been even in Texas. But Florida, uh, Miami, uh, shoot, man. Mississippi, Alabama, all the South, man. We got to stand up and do what's right by these kids, bro. Get in the comments, say what you want to say, but get in their comments. Ain't no big dog getting in because they don't want to, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah, you do. You got everything to do with it because we birthed hip-hop, man, and this is, uh, this is our culture, and it just hurt me to see uh, young brothers going through it like this and ain't nobody stepping up and saying nothing. And, man, it's just sad to see these young brothers just celebrating each other's death, life. They both did it and all that. I hear you. I have heard the stories before, man. But when do it stop? Man, put God first, bro. Stop playing, bro. Change the game, bro. Try to live to get old, man. Like I said, these guys dying, and ain't nobody trying. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I think that's sad, you know. Um, I done jumped in a few DMs and said, hey, man, come on, bro. You know. I mean, at the end of the day, that's all I can do because I didn't have a relationship with these dudes. But if you got a relationship with these dudes, come on, man. You can speak out. We got to start speaking up and speaking out. Y'all so cool, y'all letting everybody get killed. You're so cool, everybody getting killed and everybody cool with it. I ain't ever seen nothing like this in my life, bro. It got to stop, man. It's crazy. It's stupid. It got to stop, bro. Man. I know, hey, man, let me know what you think in the comments. Boss, I want to one. I got a little bit too involved in it, but it's just sad, bro, because these kids look like my kids, and, and it's crazy. Get in the comments, man. R.P. to Fulio, his, his, man, my condolences to his family again. Um, young and Ace, bro, man, I'm praying for you and your family and your movement, man. I'm, I pray that you get your success however you get it, you know what I'm saying? But, man, we got to have some kind of, we got to have some kind of peace around this thing, man. Kids, y'all watching, I know y'all seeing what's happening. I apologize. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.